Hi guys, just a little message from Freddy, but he is in the mood for not talking. Uh, this week I was with Sibs uh, learning about uh, the charity that care for brothers and sisters who have brothers and sisters with learning disabilities. You're watching The Nicest Blog. Hi guys, so I've got a crazy busy week this week. Uh, I'm with Sibs, who are a charity that look after um, brothers and sisters who are basically carers for their brothers and sisters with learning disabilities. I have started my crazy busy week up in Yorkshire and you can see, oh if I unlock my car that will help. And just to prove to you guys that I am in Yorkshire, <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Um, the charity was started by the chief executive who lives in Yorkshire and she lives in a little village uh, that way I believe. I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore Toto. <laughs> I have to be up at 6 to drive over to Leeds, which is about an hour and a half away from here. And then I have to be in London tomorrow night, ready for meetings on uh, Wednesday morning. Oh, so it's half 6 in the morning. Oh, I need to wake up. And I've got to get over to Leeds, where I am having a meeting about one of the um, groups that SIDS run. Uh, for parents, and then I am meeting the one of the trustees in the afternoon, and then I'm driving all the way down to London. Hi guys, so I am with Nicola, and Hello. we are um, basically doing some training for SIBS. So this is what people go through um, when they go on the training courses with the charity. Um, I'm actually making my name badge at the moment. And it's very nice, I've never really been this far north before. <laughs> it's East Yorkshire. It's East Yorkshire, this is where I am. <laughs> it's quite an interesting charity. Sibs look after the other people, so the brothers and sisters of disabled brothers and sisters. So to be a bit more specific, um, if you are a sibling, as they call them, and you've got a disabled brother or sister, they care for you as opposed to caring for um, the member of your family that has the, the disability or the learning disability or, or the issue. Yeah, just let me know what Young Sibs is. Um, Young Sibs is a website for um, children who are grown up with a disabled brother or sister. A lot of siblings find that they, they feel quite lonely, that they're the only one and that they don't realise that there's other people who've got yeah. brothers and sisters in the same position. There's a forum on the website, uh, was it Young Sibs? Young Sibs chat. A lot of children talking about what it's like to have an autistic brother or sister. Yeah, I'm 12, my brother has autism. When I read your email, I felt like you were talking about my brother. He does it all the time. Um, and people thanking each other for the advice, or they're getting advice from each other. So that's a really good way of doing it. Um, yeah, I am the Agony Ouch. Agony Ouch. I think what's <laughs> really interesting um, is that with SIBS, and one thing that I'm learning is that when you think of a charity, you think of a specific condition, um, whether it be when I be with Guide Dogs for the Blind, you have a blind person, or resources for autism, there's somebody with autism, Cystic Fibrosis Trust, but SIBS concentrate on the other person, so there are family members who don't have any conditions or anything wrong with them, yet they're the ones that kind of quietly get pushed to the side and, and get almost forgotten because their brother or their sister is the one that needs the care and this goes on all the way through their life until when people have to look after themselves and, and, and look after their brothers and sisters when they're you know in their 40s and 50s and they've got families and wives and kids and all of a sudden their parents pass away and then the care then goes on to the to the siblings and goes on to their brothers and sisters and this charity specifically looks after those people who more often than not have quite a lot of mental health issues with depression and other problems because the pressure because of it is, is so immense. Just think how it would be to live with a brother or sister who had autism and, and growing up with that and f always feeling so different but then getting into your 30s and 40s and realising that you're the only one that cares and can give the level of care that they need. Um, so that's what Sibs do. And I enter civilization. Um, I'm in a meeting room. I've met one of the trustees from Sibs just to discuss his journey. He, um, he basically had, he has two boys. One um, died at age 13 a few years ago and he's got another 
another boy with a life limiting condition. Um, it's genetic, he's currently at Martin House Hospice where I was um, about a month ago and he's got one middle boy who is actually okay um, and he, the reason why he joined as a trustee um, of the charity was because he wanted to show his son's support as well, um, the one who is okay who you know, hasn't got any life limiting conditions. Um, to make sure that he is okay when he's older. So, uh, I'm in London today. Um, you definitely wouldn't guess this is where I was. So I'm going to um, a parent meeting at a cafe to meet some parents who, uh, they talk about kind of their community and getting together and supporting each other. And then they're meeting the uh, head of directors, um, of trustees. Head of trustees, not head of directors. Head of trustees. Um, and then I'm making my way over to Western Supermare. So guess where I am? I'm in Western Supermare and this is pretty much where I'm ending my journey uh, with Sibs this week. I have travelled from Yorkshire to Hull to Leeds to London and now to Western. I've met some amazing people. Um, when I first started this journey with Sibs I didn't really know what to expect or what to anticipate. Um, it's been a really big learning curve for me. Uh, SIBS is an unusual but vital charity that caters to those people who really need the love and support from their community after looking after their brothers and sisters who have learning disabilities, whether that be from child stage all the way through to adults. Looking after an adult who has a learning disability is hard in itself. Having this vital support group is, uh, is really important. Next week, I'm in Cumbria. Uh, with Animal Rescue. As you know, I love cats and dogs and we are rescuing little doggies and little kitties. Um, and I have a long drive on Sunday all the way up to, to Cumbria. I don't mind, because it's for the animals. Uh, so that's my week next week. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Um, how would you want to miss out on this? Come on, look at it. Yeah, follow me. Follow my amazing journey this year. Subscribe to YouTube. Uh, make sure you like and comment and uh, watch me next week. Bye guys. <laughs>